So apparently one thing they don't want to show up is that date. 7-22-2019. Are we going to get some sound? So today is December 15th, 2019, about a quarter till one. This is when I tried to get a restraining order for calling me fucking psychotic crazy bitch from the last video. Now he goes into some La La story. Old Judge Robinson, Whitman County, Washington, District Court gang. He married my mother to the stepfather that worked for Washington State University. Assistant Comptroller. Sometimes we have situations where uh, a person has grandkids and they have friends over and they're all playing. Starts the making up a la la story. Somebody falls down and hurts themselves and they're crying. Or the grandmother sticks her head out the back door and says, Shut up, you kids, I'm tired of listening to you. And the person who files their complaint says, I don't like that kind of language. We shouldn't talk to the kids that way. They should be. No. And it wouldn't be the cause for going into court, would it? Heart Auto is bumping in. There are very few cases in the now. I would have said it, it would have been. Yeah, it was not, it was me being harassed and Wolverton doing the harassing. If it would have been flipped, he already had this lecture all ready to go.
They also told me that a gun would shoot through my back wall, me and my front wall. Threaten me with a shotgun. A vulgar name, unless I said it, then it would. So just to clarify, Your Honor, you're saying that the demonstrated use of the courts is not a pattern of harassment, having me investigated and arrested and costing me attorney's fees, and that her calling me a vulgar and intimidating uh, uh, name, which you saw demonstrated on the video, does not constitute harassment, and so you're not going to grant my order but it might constitute harassment if the person felt harassed and intimidated by the vulgar word, but I'm not feeling harassed and intimidated by the vulgar word. Is that, is that the clarification? I'm saying that that vulgarity would have to be more than a single incident. And so the 2013 incident where he offered to shoot me with a shotgun or suggested that a shotgun was able to move faster than his girlfriend who had just uh, threatened to beat me up does not constitute because I happen to be sitting on their porch and trying to schedule him to do my water spigot. Yes, because under subsection one, any current contact between the parties was initiated by a respondent only or was initiated by both parties. So had you not been on their porch, that never would have occurred. Thank goodness they had the judge lawyering sense, for them. with your expert opinion on that. And so could you state which statute again you're not granting my protection order on? Actually, that would be 1014. Because you're saying that no pattern of conduct has been established, that they're harassing me, and what was the other reason? The pattern of conduct has not been established, which indicates that their purpose of interfering has been lost. And what was the other reason? I'm sorry. I'm not sure. That was the reason. But I am also finding that both of you have stated that you want no contact from the <clears throat> And actually, I wanted to comment on that, too, because once again, it seems like I'm in here and asking Whitman County uh, court system for protection and for help, just like when I was a teenager and a child, and again, I'm having it turned back on me. Every time that the police have been called, I'm sorry, but every time the police have been called, I have had them come to my house. When I call, they come to my house and harass me for the, or suggest that I don't interact with my neighbors. When they call, they come to my house and tell me to leave the neighbors alone. When I ask for protection, I'm told that I don't need protection and that I don't feel threatened and that it's not determinable that it's harassment. But then I feel like I've been set up with the potential now that we've both publicly stated it, that if I somehow step out of line, they can call and immediately have an anti-harassment order granted. And I've been in front of you with the, about this issue before. You and this group of people. Um, they, what I would like is I would like people to not come on my property. I would like them to not come on my property. If I have need to contact them, if I have need to contact them, I will contact them through my landlord. I will not go directly to them, and I have not ever gone directly to them, except for the time when I was on their porch under the guidance and in the company of my mother, the landlord, trying to schedule them to make the needed repairs to the property that they apparently owed my mother, the landlord, in labor. That's the, why I was on their porch. I was with the landlord, so it seems like that was an official visit. And I was the one that was threatened in that incident, and I was the one that had people swear at me. I didn't do any swearing. I was simply trying to schedule, and I was doing it in a reasonable tone of voice. My I was still smiling at that point because I hadn't been being harassed for years. At that point, it had just begun. And so if you want to say that there's no pattern, you that's on record. I'd like to have copies of all these papers that, and the reports and the supporting statements. I don't know what that is. And the police report, I don't think I got that from the last time either. You asked them if they had copies of the supporting statements. Is that the statements that I made? So it would have been your statement attached to the file that you're right now. Thank you. Um, going through your landlord. And what I would expect, and what I 
asked for on the video that I showed you. Frivolous. Adding in that my butt would have gotten smacked was not frivolous on the cop's part, no. Mistaking that the boundary was illegal was not frivolous on the cop's part. Right, because it's brilliant to get involved in the court system in a fucking gang fucking court thing. And apparently it's pure KKK too, because a lot of the tactics that they've done, you, you saw in things like Mississippi burning and other weird stuff. The deep north. Of course it does. Lurkers. He didn't grant me the petition for when they ran over my toes almost with the lawnmower either. I wasn't being threatened then either. <laughs> you old douchebag. Racketeer. White supremacist crook. Thank you. And did we fix Josh's name on it so that his right name is appearing on the court records? Oh, yeah. oh, well, that was dirty, not unexpected. And then, so for the record, 
even though that was from the 22nd of July in 2016, today is the 15th of December um, 2019, which I don't know, why don't I have that? Let's see. Anyway, it's 2019. I don't have any way of proving that it's 2019, <laughs> I guess. Oh, wait, I could pull up the browser. Then that's a problem. I had the speech all ready to go, and then I'm having to give it in a backwards order, and that's a problem. Yeah, just nothing wants to show me the year. <laughs> That's very amusing. And for the record, that judge, just to like clarify it, he was basically fine with uh, with the landlord's husband. So there's the football scores, Patriots, Panthers, Bengals. He also didn't give me a protection order when uh, the landlord's husband just and admitted in court that, they, that he had brushed over the tips of my toes, but but that the blade for the lawnmower was set back four inches from the guard. So just because the guard brushed over the tips of my bare toes doesn't mean that the blade was actually that close. It was four inches away from my bare toes. So yeah, that was when he was harassing me. And, and then he admitted they, they blatantly lied in court and said that they had paid the taxes when I, yeah, it was just, yeah, that judge is a scumbag. He really messed up my teenage years, him and the other judge, always doing this kind of stuff, finding it against. And the teachers are the same way, and that's what they mean by socialized here. It means that they're socialized to accept a Nazi, white supremacist, white Christian supremacist world order. That's what socialized means in Pullman, Washington, Albion, Washington, and Whitman County. And then they study Latah County. Uh, the behavioral Washington State University behavioral psychology studies abnormal sexuality over in Latah County. I'm supposed to live in Latah County with my installed abnormal sexuality and get studied from there. But I'm being studied from here and studying myself from here. <laughs>